Welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to use keyframes in CapCut for PC. Let's get started. Before I go into what keyframes, what they are and how to use them, I want to point out some of the integrated animation effects that come with CapCut. I will add a static sticker to make it more obvious. Of course, as expected, nothing happens during playback, the castle is not animated, CupCut has some predefined animations, the in tab contains entry animations while the out tab contains predefined output animations. Note the white horizontal line indicating the applied preset animation. Great! This is fun! Let's apply another animation to make it more interesting. I decide to use slide on the right. Let's have a look at the preview. Great! Works as expected. To remove a preset animation, click None. The Loop tab contains other animations that are applied to the entire clip. That's all you need to know about presets animations. To get more control, keyframes are used. But what exactly are keyframes and how are they used in video editing applications? Keyframes are start or end points of an animation, they define what happens between the two points. Don't worry, I've prepared a very simple example for you to help you grasp the concept of keyframe animation. My goal is to make the player move towards the soccer goal. At this moment, the player is not moving. To create a keyframe animation, select the clip, move the playhead to the beginning. That's where the animation is supposed to start. The player location is defined by X and Y. Press the button in the shape of a diamond to create the start keyframe. Now move the playhead to the end of the clip. Move the player manually. In this case, the end keyframe that defines the position of the player is created automatically. You can fine-tune the settings manually at any time by entering exact values. Start playback to check the result of your first keyframe animation. Awesome! To make it even more interesting, I'll add a rotation. For this to work, I need to define the start keyframe as well. I hope you now better understand the underlying concept. CapCut interpolates linearly between both keyframes. Other applications support curves, though, to make it less robotic. You can also animate other properties like opacity. Let's give the player some superpowers, add a keyframe, then add another. Decrease the opacity to zero. Move forward in the timeline. Redo the steps. See how the values change. Let's play the animation. As expected, the player disappears for some frames. Great job! To delete keyframes again, you have to select them individually. Before I finish the video, I want to show you how to create a very common animation effect. Here I have a video with a talking head. To add variety, zooming in and out can be helpful. 
This is a perfect example of a keyframe animation tutorial. Here I would like to zoom in on the face. Next I create a keyframe, then I move the playhead a few frames further. Now zoom in. It is important that the eyes stay at the same height. A short test can't hurt. It looks quite nice. Okay, I can live with it. Now, the zoom out effect. Now, enjoy the result in full screen mode. So that's basically it for this video. You should be able to create your own animations using the built-in presets or by adding keyframes. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you want to see more CapCut tutorials, leave a comment below. And as always, don't kiss any frogs, goodbye.